it's really more of a hey we're live three-ish <laughs> three-ish <laughs> ah. this is real life we're here to share real experiences that bring up the yep. humor and motivation of regular day-to-day -day life so tune in to makeshift motivation fill your cup with us on facebook live every monday here are your hosts tammy Wilson hubbard and ashley Valdez. what What's up? What's up? Jessica's already here. What's up, girl? Jessica's like waiting for us. She's like, y'all, it's three o'clock. What are you doing? <laughs> Taking an energy before I die today. Jessica knows when we say three o'clock, we mean three o'clock ish. <laughs> <laughs> Super professional. It's okay. We're here. <laughs> this is real life, baby. Sometimes. Yep, Sometimes. Behind. That's all right. So how are we doing? We are doing. We are doing. <laughs> 310. 310. Not quite. Almost. Just about. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Fine-ish, yeah. <laughs> it's earlier than Cuban time, I'll tell you that. So. Oh, way earlier. Yes, indeedy. <laughs> yes, indeedy. <laughs> so bad we're starting bad well hey everybody welcome to makeshift motivation <laughs> all right oh. that's our show for today everybody have yeah a good time. <laughs> for real thanks for tuning into the intro music now we're gonna go no i'm kidding <laughs> it's been a long day already but we're here we're excited we're ready to go last week i kind of took over with all my hey crystal all my hey. journaling and affirmations and um life goals and and you know why we journal how to journal non-stressful ways to journal this week you are taking over tia t you are taking over with the planning for success and setting goals for yourself and your business and things of this nature which i'm really excited for because anything that i get to use my little Add with specialty <laughs> pen at. Uh, shameless plug, shameless plug. I got your back. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, I'm excited about today's episode too, actually, because goal setting is kind of my jam. Yep. I kind of like goal setting. Y'all, I'll set a goal for everything. Everything. Awesome. So it's kind of like your to-do list, but with a plan to actually do. Ah. Yes. Yes. I like it. I'm sure <laughs> Ad was kind of cute, but I have an office supply problem. <laughs> I know it's a, it is an obsession, Jessica, the, the pen thing. It's a problem. I know it's really bad. Yeah, I know. Pens and notepads and journals. I know she's got a ton of journals. That's what we're here for. We're here to help her journals. <laughs> that's it. That's it. <laughs> so <laughs> so um, goal setting, I'm sure everybody's heard the expression, um, if you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. Yes. I have everybody's been. heard that expression. And it's actually really a true story. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have setting goals is great, you know, making a, you know, deciding that you really want to accomplish something. That's fantastic. But yes. what good is that if you don't know where you're going, like how you're going to actually accomplish that goal? It's kind mm -hmm. of like going on vacation and saying, I'm going to go to Washington State for vacation. Well, how are you going to get there? I don't know. I'm going to get in the car and drive north and see if I eventually hit it. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't going to work. It's not going to work. So you have to you have to make a plan to reach your goal. So that's a lot of what I'm going to talk about today. So um, a goal is basically a desired result a person can envision, plan, and commit to achieve. 
So setting a goal without those three ingredients isn't going to work. So those are the three things that you need to have when you set your goal. You have to have a vision, you have to have a plan, and you have to have a commitment to achieve that goal. So um, the biggest thing I think in, in setting a goal is that, and, and making your plan to achieve your goal, is you have to be really specific. You have to get down and dirty with the details. I'm all about the details. So <laughs> for me, it's like, oh, good, I can write a page about how I'm going to achieve this goal. <laughs> um, but really, it's got to be clear and it's got to be defined. And that's how you're going to get to whatever that goal is. Now, you're going to have goals that are going to be like Ashley you've talked about before, like life goals. Those are the big goals. OK, those are the big things that you want to achieve in your life, your million dollar home your Lamborghini, your whatever your life goal is. It doesn't even have to be anything that big, but it's right. just what you want to do in your life. Okay. Whatever you want to accomplish in your life. Um, I'm talking more about your smaller day to day goals, perhaps for this year, perhaps for this month, perhaps for this week. Okay. So we're talking yes. more about the smaller goals. Now, when you set a goal that's a big goal, for instance, um, I'm going to talk sales just because that's what I know. So say you want to sell, say you sell cars and you want to sell 100 cars this year. So you make your plan to sell 100 cars this year. I'm going to. I don't know. I'm going to, I know that if I talk to 20 people, I'm going to close two of them. So how many people do I have to talk to, to sell a hundred cars? And you're mm -hmm. going to break down. You're going to do what Zig Ziglar calls reduced to the ridiculous. You're going to make it such a small number that it becomes more achievable for you. Wow. And that's the process of making your plan. So I know if I talk to 10 people, I'm going to close one of those people. So I'm going to talk to 10 people every day, close one of those people every day. And that means at the end of my 100 days, I'm going to have my 100 cars, whatever the, the numbers end up being for your particular goal. So you have to make your plan really specific about how you're going to do that. If that was my plan, I would even get down to where I'm going to find these people that I'm going to talk to. Am I going to cold call? Am I going to use social media? Am I going to call previous customers? Am I going to ask for referrals? You've got to get really specific with your plan about how you intend to achieve your goal. And it makes it so much easier on yourself when you do that. So I find that works really well for me when I get really down to the details, really, really specific. Um, your goal is kind of like the roadmap. Okay. The roadmap is going to take you from where you are to where you want to be. Mm -hmm. That's the plan to reach your goal. So the more specific you are, the easier it's going to be for you to stick to your plan. Obviously. Um, I always tell people that a goal without a plan is a wish. I mean, I love that. I've heard it. It's true. Yeah. Cause if you just say it's going to happen, but you're not putting legs to it, where are you going? You're not going down that road. You're just wishing <laughs> you're just yeah, saying it. Right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Cause I can set a goal to sell, um, a million dollars worth of whatever t-shirts. Okay. I want to sell a million dollars worth of t-shirts. That's my goal. Congratulations. You just made a wish. I don't right. have a plan to do it. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'm going to just, you know, what do they say? Throw spaghetti against the wall and see if it sticks or something. <laughs> Some kind of expression like that. <laughs> Is it spaghetti? It might not be spaghetti. Oh, uh, it's a bad word. Never mind. We're not talking about that. <laughs> it's spaghetti. Spaghetti, yeah. You throw spaghetti against the wall. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So anyway, a, a really important part of setting your goal is making your plan to achieve your goal. And the more specific you can be about how you're going to get there, um, the easier it's going to be for you to actually achieve that goal. 
And I like to break my goals down. Like I said, uh, I might set a goal for, you know, I want to buy a house this in one year from now, I want to buy a house. That's my big goal. But inside of that comes smaller goals. So I know my plan to reach my goal of buying a house in one year, I have to save a certain amount of money. I have to have a certain credit score and I have to know what I can afford to pay for a mortgage payment, what I, what the insurance is going to cost all of these things. So then you're actually getting smaller little goals out of your plan. So I know I have to save $500 a month for 12 months in order to have enough for my down payment. So how am I going to do that? There's another goal, my savings of this much per month. And then the plan to save that money becomes the plan for the smaller goal. Do you see what right. I'm saying? Woo. So you might have a big goal, but inside that big goal, you can make smaller goals. And I think it's really important to do that because then you give yourself little wins. Yeah. I like to give myself little that wins. That is so important. Yes. It's yeah. so important to feel like you're actually accomplishing things and you're actually taking those steps to get to where you need to be. It's kind of like the compound effect within your goals. You're hitting all the little goals and they yes. all build up to that big, you're buying your house, you yeah. know? <laughs> I exactly. Love it. Especially if you're setting a goal that's for something big that's going to happen down the road, you know? Right. I mean, mm-hmm. I'm not into delayed gratification, so I have a really hard time with those big goals and seeing the big picture. So I like to break it down into smaller goals that I can work on each month and I can work on each week and that I can work on each day because then it feels like I'm accomplishing things and I like to get things done. So that way I break the goal down into smaller things. Y'all have heard us talk about our to-do list all the time. Ashley and I have. I have like (laughs) to do to do for work, to do for my custom orders, to do for my children, to do for everything. Everything is to-do lists. <laughs> yeah, everything is the to-do list. But I'm sure everybody who has a list of things they want to accomplish every day, y'all have had days when you're like halfway through the day and then you look at your list and you go, I didn't do anything that's on this list. So what I do is I look at the list and I go, okay, well then what have I done today? Yes. Oh, look at that. I spent two hours networking and look at that. I spent an hour working on the podcast and look, I spent an hour um, making doctor's appointment, whatever the, whatever the thing is that I have accomplished, yes. guess what I do? I add those to my to-do list and then I cross them off because they're already done. Yes. What? It gives me that feeling of accomplishment. It's the same theory when you break your goal down into smaller goals. You mm-hmm. got to give yourself the win. It's super mm-hmm. important to build your momentum by giving yourself a win with the smaller goals. Um, you know, I, I guess I already gave you guys like examples of setting a goal without spending or without making a plan. Um, There was one that I wanted to talk about, though, because the holidays is coming really soon. And Ashley and I are going to be doing a show um, in November that's going to be all about financial responsibility. And I think it's important this time of the year, especially with the year everybody's had, because, you know, a lot of us are struggling financially. It's not as easy as it is, you know, when we have our regular, normal business activities. Um, so we're going to be doing that show in November. So I wanted to share this example of a goal because I think it's important to think about financial responsibility at this time of the year as well. Um, so I set a goal that I'm not going to spend more than a hundred dollars on Christmas presents for my extended family. That's my goal. How am I going to do that? I don't know. I don't know. Well, if I was setting the goal, this is how I would do it. I set a goal to not spend more than $100 on Christmas gifts for my extended family. Mm -hmm. So my roadmap is going to be really specific about how I'm going to do that. First of all, I'm going to figure out who I want to buy presents for, Mm -hmm. how much I want to spend per person. 
And then I'm going to look at, well, wait a second, maybe I can make their Christmas gifts and they would have a much nicer homemade gift. They wouldn't have to, I wouldn't have to spend as much money. It would be more a gift of my time and my, all of that that goes into a handmade gift. And I could use the hundred dollars to buy supplies and probably get a lot more gifts out of those supplies. So then I would decide what I wanted to make each person, what supplies I needed, how much those supplies were going to cost. And then I would figure out when am I going to do this? Because everybody, exactly. The when is a big deal. It's a really big deal because you have to make this goal fit into your time frame and your schedule. Mm -hmm. You have to. So I would figure out, okay, I can work on my Christmas gifts. I have eight weeks left until Christmas. I can work on them Tuesday nights and Thursday nights from eight until 10 or whatever the, whatever the time frame is. But seriously, if you schedule that time and you know, this is the time when I do this, then it's a lot easier for you to say, no, I can't do this now. I can't do that thing. That's going to distract me. I can't go to, you know, have, drinks with the girls because it's my time. I have to do this. Make it a priority. Right. Basically you have to do, you have to make it a priority. So you see how I broke the, the plan down to like the really nitty gritty details to make it easier for me to achieve it. Even like with exercise, because I know when, when I plan to do my exercise, I plan to do it in the morning time because I know that's going to be the best time for me to get it done. Cause if I wait until evening, I'm not going to do it. So right. I turn the time into my morning routine to do the exercise. I and that's, that. just, yeah. So that's, that's what I find works for me is being really specific with my plan. Even as far as when I'm going to accomplish this, not just how I want to, but when I'm going to be yes. really, really specific. And then the last part you said about committing, because you can say you're going to exercise in the morning, but you got to actually get your butt up and do it. And that's the part that's like, ah, uh. <laughs> yeah, committing. I mean, the proof is in the pudding. It's all about how bad do you want it? Boom. This is, yeah, it's all about my girls. How bad I hope I hope my girls are writing this stuff down because this all is so, 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 so such gold for our business and what we do. Yeah. I mean, I honestly, <laughs> I set goals for my business life and I set goals for my personal life yes. um, just because I like setting goals. I like yeah. that feeling of accomplishment is basically what it comes down to. And yes. so if I set a goal, I make a plan to get there and then I accomplish my goal. Well, then I feel like I've, you know, you're a winner. I'm the, I'm the queen <laughs> of the hop at that point, you know, hey. <laughs> I know so everybody's nice. going queen of the hop. What is that? I'm dating myself. <laughs> <She's> a- <laughs> so um, <laughs> if you're saying to yourself at this point, you know what, Tammy, all oh, this is great. But I find myself unable to follow my plan and my goals feel further away than ever. What do I do then? If I've set a goal, I've made a plan, and I just can't seem to get it done, what do I do? It's really, really simple what you do. You stop and you make a new plan. Wow. Yeah, that's all. That's I heard, I've heard, um, I'm sorry, I heard it really quick because it's going to leave my mind in two seconds. Um, don't change the goal, change the plan. I've heard that said so many times and you just reminded me of that as well. So I just wanted to, <laughs> you just don't change the, the goal. Right <laughs> out of my mouth, exactly yes. what I was going to say. That's okay, exactly perfect. what I was going to say. Sorry, oh no, but everyone... No, 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 sorry. that's that's fine. No, 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 that's, uh, it's, it's absolutely okay. true. That's absolutely true. You never adjust your goal, you adjust Mm -hmm. your plan to reach your goal. You don't adjust your destination. You still want to go to Washington. You just adjust how you're going to get there. That's all. That's all. You just adjust your plan. If your plan's not working, it's okay. 
Sometimes you can't get up at six o'clock in the morning and take those walks. Sometimes right. it's hard. I get it. So you just, I still want to walk every day. Maybe I just need to adjust and do it in the afternoon. Maybe that would be easier for me. Yes. That's never, all. never quit. Just pivot. Exactly. Where have I heard that before? <laughs> That's an Ashley Vism right there. For so, sure. <laughs> you, yeah. And you know what? You got to cut yourself some slack too. Okay. Yes. If you set a goal and you are having trouble reaching your goal, you're having trouble preparing your plan, you're having trouble, just cut yourself some slack. Yes, take a breath for God's sake. Take a deep <laughs> breath. And if it's something that you, you know, sometimes you got to really truly reevaluate what your goal is also. Mm -hmm. And you have to yes. decide, is it my goal or is it everybody else's goal for me? Is it mine and is it realistic for the time frame, I guess? Right. Right. I'll give you a for instance. I just joined a coaching group. You, you, you and I talked about it a little bit earlier. I was really excited to be accepted into this coaching program um, with other promotional products distributors. That's a big deal for me to be accepted in this program. These people have been in the business like a really long time, and they do like lots and lots and lots of business. Okay, so for me to set a goal that I want to do next year a million and a half dollars in promotional product sales is not realistic. It's not wow. realistic because I'm not there yet. Wow. But I can set a goal that I want to do whatever the number is that I want to reach, you know, based on what I've done this year to improve. And then I would figure out how much I want to improve, how much I can improve and set that goal and then make a plan to get to that goal. So you have to make sure that it's realistic for you as well. Like you said, that it's something that you actually can achieve. Right. Um, but if you're having trouble, just like you said, take a breath, yeah. breathe in, breathe out yes. and just reevaluate. That's all. That's all. Yes. Reevaluate. Yeah. And I feel like, I feel like one of the hardest things when it comes to all of the setting goals or journaling or whatever you're, you know, whatever the thing is you're doing, a lot of the, that self-evaluating, I think, um, I feel like most people try to lie to themselves about where they are and what they're capable of or what they think they're capable of and things like that. Or you, you got to be, it might not be fun to self-evaluate and, and be honest about some things about yourself, but that right there just goes to show you exactly what you should be working on with your journaling and your goal setting. If there's something about you that you, you just it upsets you that's the thing right there that you got to be you know trying to um, right. get better at, or get better at so that you can you know make realistic goals and not feel like crap i'm never gonna hit this goal because blah, well, blah blah exactly i'll give you a for instance because we were talking about my exercise routine and i had set a goal a few weeks ago that maybe it was a month ago that i wanted to get up every morning and I wanted to walk two miles and I wanted to do 20 to 30 minutes of weights every single day. Mm -hmm. And I was really struggling. I could not get it done. And if this is not, I mean, you guys, I've been walking in the morning every day for like years. Forever already. This, yeah. is not, <laughs> this is not something that's new to me. Okay. But I was really struggling and I had a plan. I knew I have to get up at this time. I have to do this, 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 and this in order to achieve my plan. Well, I was really struggling. I could not get out of bed in the morning to save my life. I just couldn't do it. And then when I did get out of bed, I found myself in the kitchen emptying the dishwasher. I'm in the garage getting laundry started. And oh this God. is all the things I'm doing when I should be on the road walking. Yeah. So I had to sit down and I had to look at my plan and say, okay, I'm not accomplishing my goal because I'm not working my plan, but why am I not working my plan? Two reasons. First of all, I'm letting distractions get in the way. Boom. 
I'm letting distractions get in the way because I'm emptying the dishwasher. There's no reason to empty the dishwasher at six o'clock in the morning. It doesn't matter, you know. My husband empties the dishwasher every single day when he gets up and he's making his coffee. While his coffee is cooking, he's emptying the dishwasher. Why all of a sudden I felt I needed to empty the dishwasher, I don't know. Perhaps I was looking for a distraction. Hey. I don't know. So the other thing that I that I found when I carefully looked at it was that I was having trouble getting up because I was struggling to get to sleep. <gasps> I wasn't getting enough sleep. So therefore, <laughs> I wasn't getting enough sleep. So therefore, I was having a harder time getting up in the morning. Yes, ma'am. So when I have my goal and I have my plan and it's not working, I got to look at why it's not working and I got to be totally honest with myself. Yes. And I was doing things. I was self-sabotaging there. Mm. Wow. Yeah. So Ouch. then I said, okay, how do I get more sleep? And, you know, not emptying the dishwasher, let's face it, that's a no-brainer. Just don't empty <laughs> the dishwasher, Tammy. But don't laugh. I put a post-it note on the counter above the dishwasher that said, do not empty the dishwasher. You got to do what you got to do. I would never laugh at that. But yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and say, can I, I'm just going to drop this in here real quick. <laughs> this beautiful, fantastic <laughs> sleepy tea, you guys. Oh, my God. I'm a just, you don't even understand. It's made with melatonin, um, chamomile, and magnesium. Helps you fall asleep so fast and helps you stay asleep. And for me, um, I get leg cramps at night really, really bad since um, I had a back surgery forever ago. Ever since then, plus the pregnancy, the magnesium helps that not happen. And like, oh, my God. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Well, <laughs> well I'll tell you. I yeah, now, <laughs> I'm, now I messed up this whole thing. Oh, well, oh, there no. you go. Oh, That's well. fine. <laughs> <laughs> so once I once I figured out what was stopping me from working my plan to achieve my goal, mm -hmm. I was able mm -hmm. to make the adjustments that I needed to make. And you know, getting more sleep when you're having trouble sleeping and you're in your 50s, it kind of happens. You have trouble sleeping, you know, you get that menopausal thing going on. But what I did find worked for me is I started meditating in the evening when I went to bed and it's a whole thing I started. So it- I love that. Yeah, it kind of worked. And I <laughs> did do this other thing that's actually a whole nother episode. So we're not even gonna go into that, but it's a, it's a nighttime routine that helps me sleep. So- love that. I had a drop back and punt. That's what you got to do. So Ooh. it's okay to adjust your plan. It is not okay to adjust your goal. Say I it again. <laughs> I know, right? For the people in the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't adjust your goal. Adjust your plan. Now, if you've adjusted your plan like three, four times and it's still not working, then you need to look at your goal and get a little real with yourself. You know? Yeah, that's when you got to so, be honest and self-evaluate. And it's hard. It's hard to do. It's hard to do. But yes, guess what? You can just reroute. Take that roadmap and reroute it. You're going to go a different direction and see if you can make it work. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we have to be flexible. We have to. Especially nowadays, you know, everybody's we've been through and we're still in a pandemic for crying out loud. Who knew yes. this is like, you know, it's craziness. We've all had to, as Ashley says, stop and pivot. You know, I didn't plan. On, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's true. It is. We we've all had to kind of adjust. So it's okay to do those adjustments. Just don't adjust your goal because if it's a realistic goal and it's truly something in your heart that you believe you want and you can achieve, you can achieve it. Yes. You know, you're not failing because your plan needs to be adjusted. You're learning. Yes. Because your plan needs to be adjusted. Woo. So. Oh, my God. This episode is hurting me because I'm like, yep, yep, I'm bad. I'm bad. I get distracted <laughs> all the time. I got things yeah. I got to do. I I'm mean, looking for. Yeah, I'm like, I'm looking for a whole six people to train. And yeah, I got a lot to do and I'm distracted. I, I'll, I'll tell you what, you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, I started just last week on Thursdays 
I, I, I told Jordan, I'm like, listen, there's too much going on here. I need to get out of here. I'm never going to get any work done. So Thursday mornings, I go to the library. I literally old school, take my laptop and go sit at the library. And you know what happened last Thursday when I went to the library? Signed my first customer in like forever. See what happens there when you pivot? <laughs> well, here's the thing. You had a goal. You had a plan. It wasn't working. So you adjusted. And I was happy. <laughs> exactly. exactly. And, and you also had support. You know, that's yes. important as well when you're trying to work your goal. Now, I'm not saying that it's totally necessary either because um, – Oftentimes we have goals that don't really mean anything to anybody else but us, and that's okay. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah, definitely. So when your plan's not working, you're not failing, you're learning. You adjust your plan and you move on, and then you, you'll reach your goal. So the other thing um, that I wanted to talk about too is what if you have a goal, but you have no idea how you're going to reach your goal? Okay. Easy. Research. Ask for help. Find somebody who's already been there. Ashley and I talk about this all the time. Okay. Find if people. you want to be successful, find somebody else who's successful and do what they do. Yes. <laughs> okay. And this day and age, it's so easy to do. There's like a million and one Facebook yeah. groups you can find and join and find people with similar interests and like similar experiences or more experience even better and it's just it's so much easier to reach out now than it was like you know oh, yeah. 20 30 years ago even so i mean there's a million coaching programs there's a million Everywhere. online free resources for people there's like there's, a whole google <laughs> yeah i mean seriously like, really. <laughs> you know so if there's something that you want but you really have no idea where you how you're going to reach this goal you know yeah there's steps you can take figure out the steps you yeah. have to take and then that's your plan and then you just move forward with it yeah so, take the time to educate yourself on on what you need to do and then set your plan up and go and do it boom yeah yeah and then the the last thing that i wanted to talk about um ashley too was the language that we use when we talk to ourselves yes oh my gosh can we please that is such a big thing with me can we uh, yes let's so preach when you're <laughs> i hope i'm not like that but <laughs> when you're setting a goal and you're making your plan the language you use when you're talking to yourself is super important you have to be determined you have to be committed you have to be doggedly persistent if you want to reach your goals but you also have to talk to yourself in a way that is positive and yes. affirming. Yes. Okay. <laughs> in a way that is productive. Mm -hmm. Saying to yourself, I'm no good at this. I can't do this. I'm never going to get there. I can't imagine me ever reaching that goal. I, I just can't. I can't. I can't. Take yes. those two words, I can't, and throw them right straight in the trash. Never, ever, ever speak those words to yourself, and now I am preaching. Never, ever, ever speak those words to yourself ever again. Don't even think them. And I say you have to be committed and doggedly persistent and determined. That means you have to use language with yourself that is going to encourage yourself to reach your goals. Yes, I can't even, it's just so, it's so <laughs> easy. It is so much easier to fall into a cycle of negativity than to stay positive about yourself because I can't even, even just, oh my God, I suck. Yeah. <laughs> it's the smallest little thing. It's spoken in a millisecond. I just got to stop for a second because I just saw Jessica's comments here. I was always down on myself. Jessica, girl, I feel you. We. I feel you. We feel you. <laughs> okay. Because it is okay to be down on yourself every now and then, but you got to get yourself back up. 
and you have to decide I am never going to talk about myself in a negative way ever again. I don't care what people say to me. I don't care what people say about me behind my back. I don't care what people say to my face. I am not going to talk about myself that way ever again. I am yes. never going to use the words I can't or I do not deserve or I'm not good enough ever again when mm. I talk about myself. Mm. End of story. And mm. it happens to all of us. We all do it yeah. all the time. I'll tell you. <laughs> You know, things sneak back up on you, though. Yes. You gotta watch Ooh, it because girl. this crap will sneak back up on you, but fast. Ooh. I was telling Ashley earlier, I and I just mentioned it a little bit ago, I got into this coaching program with other distributors, and I was really excited about this program. Not everybody gets accepted into it. I got accepted into it. I was really super excited about it because... I really feel like I need it and it's going to help me and I'm going to learn and I'm going to be better for those that I serve for my customers, yes. my clients. I'm going to be better for them because I'm going to know more and I'm going to be able to help lead them in the right direction. So I'm preparing for my orientation for this program. And all of a sudden I'm thinking about this person that used to be in my life a year and a half ago who was the most negative Nelly you mm. ever met in your life. Mm. And all of a sudden I'm thinking to myself, she would be telling me right now what an idiot I am, how there's no way I'm going to be a success, how I can never do this, how all of a sudden I'm thinking about this person. Yeah. Why am I thinking about this person? Mm. I have not spoken to her in a year and a half. I don't ever plan to be in that situation again i'm not going to say i won't ever speak to her because I, it's not like i just there was no big argument or everything i just decided this is not a person who's going to be a positive yeah. positive influence for me right. but all of a sudden i'm thinking about this person and what she would say to me hmm. so truly i'm saying these things to myself right you're thinking those thoughts Thoughts are so powerful, negative and positive. And it's crazy how my my newly baptized self calls that the little attacks from the devil. When you're all of a sudden like stuff like that that you haven't even thought of in forever. When you're about to do something amazing. Those are my little attacks from the devil. And you can't let it. You just. So what did you do? <laughs> well, first thing I did was say to myself, self. Where in the heck did that come from? I may right. have used a different four letter word, but you understand sure. what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. And then after that, I realized after about 20 seconds, I was like, what difference does it make where it came from? It's stupid. It's, it's asinine. It makes no sense to be thinking those thoughts. Mm. Because over a year later, guess what? I still have my company. I still have my business. I'm still running my business. I'm still doing my thing. And there's still food on my table every day. So I mean, you know, yeah, <laughs> I must it's pretty be much a success thing. for me. You know, we used to joke about it. And, and when I was talking with um, the the um one of the people that runs the coaching program and he asked me about my goals for next year and i said well pretty much my goal is to not starve to death <laughs> he had to laugh and you know i said but it's okay that that's my goal because i have a plan to reach that goal so you know nice. it's all good but i'm not going to starve to death so but yeah that's what i that's what i was saying ash it's really important that the language you use with yourself, um, you know, it matters. It really matters. So um, we just had like a little thing. Did you hear that? Yeah, that was weird. That's fine. That Are we weird. good? Are we still good? I think so. That's I think fine. we're still Okay. <laughs> so the, the language you use with yourself is really super duper important. You mm -hmm. gotta be kind to yourself. If yes. you are not kind to yourself, your plan is not going to get you where you need to go. Oh, bigger than that, if you're not kind to yourself, how do you expect 
anyone to be kind to you if you're not if it's psh, you set your own well, standard uh, yeah I we're mean, gonna, we're talking about we're getting so in that, in we're that gonna, I'm gonna, yes, yes. And you're right, you're right, you're right. I was just like brought in for our motivational uh, reasons. But yeah, if you're not kind to yeah. yourself and you're like, oh my God, I suck. And chances are you're not going to hit those goals because you think you suck. You don't suck. <laughs> yeah. No, no doubt about it. Maybe your plan sucks, but you right? don't suck. <laughs> you know, maybe your plan... You're, when you're making your, when you're building your roadmap to your goal, okay, mm -hmm. you have to think about what you want, when you want it, mm -hmm. how you're going to get there, uh -huh. and <laughs> why you want it. I couldn't remember the last one. And why. Your why is a big deal. Okay. The biggest deal. I want to take a walk every single morning because I know I have a better day when I start my day with physical activity. When I exercise, I don't know what it does. It's I'm sure something chemically, somebody can probably tell us, but I always feel like I feel better. I feel like I can accomplish more when I get moving first thing in the morning. And on the right. days that I don't exercise, I always feel sluggish throughout the day. So that's my why. Right I love there. it. Yep. The gets simple. the gets the blood pumping or endorphins released or whatever. Something something like that. Whatever happens, <laughs> it's a good thing. So I go with it, you know. Yes. <laughs> your why is so important. It's your ultimate motivation. If you don't have a strong enough why, it is gonna be so easy for you to to quit on yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's actually a book, it's up there, it's uh Start with why by who wrote this book? Simon, Simon something. I can't see. I don't have my glasses. Anyways, it's a book <laughs> called Start with Why. And it's all about how your reason for whatever it is that you're doing, if it's not strong enough, when those times and those 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 trying times and those times where you feel like you want to quit the 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 trials and turbulation times if your why is not strong enough to motivate you through that it's not going to happen your why is so important and i'm so glad that that's a part of your roadmap that's to setting your, your goals roadmap. absolutely so just Going back to Jessica, because I don't know, that's bothering me seeing that there on that screen. She said was. Always down on herself. And I just want her to know that she's not alone, that we are all there. Sometimes we all get down on ourselves and it's okay. It's not how many times you fall down, right, Ash? Mm, it's how many times you get up. You always got to get up. Get Even if you up. broke your knee, you got to get back up. That's it. That's it. You got to get up. Always got to get up. So, there was that one that you said, uh, if you can't stand up, roll over and look up, right? That was so good. Yeah, when life knocks <laughs> you to your knees, you're in the perfect position to pray. Woo! <laughs> so That's there you go. The best. And you reach out for help. You reach out for help. So if you're having trouble making a plan, setting a goal that's realistic, you really just need to lock yourself in a little room for a little bit. Think about what's important to you. It's got to be a goal for you. It can't be a goal that you do for somebody else. You know, Ashley wanted to lose weight. Um, can't and not are allowed are no longer in my vocabulary. I I just love her so much right now, okay? She's the, you know where she heard that from? What was she saying? Oh, I can't Ms. imagine where she heard that from. I don't know. <laughs> Some pretty cool friends she's got. I'm playing. <laughs> Jessica is freaking incredible, first of all. She's definitely not allowed to say not allowed and can't anymore because <laughs> she is leaving an old life behind. She's lost 14 pounds in 19 days. She has started a whole business. She is on fire, and I'm so proud of that girl. She does her affirmations. She's freaking like making me so proud and wanting to cry like i'm her mom or something like I gotta <laughs> calm down <laughs> jessica that's awesome good for you She's good for you it. that's She's amazing that is it. amazing so 
that's what I wanted to say about goal setting is that really setting the goal is important, but making the plan is, is a vital key to that. You've got to have a plan. You got to have a why you got to know when you got to know where you got to know how. So got to make your roadmap, got to make your roadmap. So speaking of roadmaps, you know, because you know, Tammy, I'm always trying to figure out how to help people along the way. So if you jump on over to makeshiftmotivation.com, you may download for free. Oh, for free. free. What does Ashley say? If it's for free, it's for me. (laughs) You can download for free your goal setting roadmap. Now, personally, I would download like 85 of these because or print out 85 of them. Okay. You can keep these right along with your affirmations, with your daily affirmations. Basically, yes. what I did is today's date, when you want to reach your goal, what your goal is, and then your plan to reach your goal. Use the backside if you need more room. It's there all go. good. And then I even added in a couple of little affirmations on the bottom because that's I think that's best. an important an important part of reaching a goal is believing that you can. Yep. So you have to believe in yourself. You have to believe that you can. So I added in on the bottom, I'm willing to be uncomfortable and disciplined to reach my goals. Mm. Not all your goals are going to make you comfortable. Yeah. Okay. It's true. And, you know, I don't like getting up at six o'clock in the morning. That's uncomfortable for me. Right. But that's okay. It's okay to be uncomfortable, be uncomfortable and disciplined to reach my goals. And I will not stray from my plan. If you've worked hard on your plan and you know, it's a plan that's a good plan that is going to get you where you want to go. It's okay to stick to your plan. And then if you find your plans not working after a legitimate time of truly honestly attacking that plan, it's okay to adjust, but you've got to stick to your plan. You created that plan for a reason. Yes. Don't make a plan and then not do anything and then blame the plan. No, you didn't do nothing. Mm. That makes me, we could do a whole episode on that. But anyways, (laughs) that's all about being Check it out, y'all. No, no, no. It's just, it's it's so many things that we can do a whole episode on just that and doing, doing, not just wishing. Anyways, makeshiftmotivation.com if you haven't been here in a while we still got our beautiful merch right here you can see your email to get your weekly affirmations your downloadable journal page and now your goal setting roadmap all free these right here free 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 if it's free free, it's for me that's it we're giving people free things unbelievable See, I mean, if, if this was me, I'm just saying, what I would do is I would print out a bunch of the um, goal setting sheets along with my affirmation sheet, along with the other one that I can't remember. Why can't I remember what it is? You just said your it. Journals. <laughs> your journaling sheet. Oh, my goodness. Your journal sheets. Oh, my God. I had them. You know, the dog moved behind me because my. <laughs> The dog is in the room with me and he moved through you all off. Threw me totally <laughs> off. So your journal sheets, your goal setting roadmaps, your yeah. affirmation sheets. I, you know, just like punch little holes in them and put them in a three ring binder and just keep them with you. Yes. You know? Easy peasy. Yes, who needs to go? So who needs to go to Barnes and Noble and spend 80 bucks on a journal or 50 bucks on a journal? You can spend a lot of money on those journals, you know? Yeah. I mean, if you want to spend money on a journal, I am, you know, more than happy to make a journal for y'all to spend money on. But we're doing this for free. Yeah. Yeah. Because we love you. Because I love seeing things like Jessica making big moves. Yeah. Yeah. And you got to do it for you. That was the the last thing I wanted to say, Ash, before we jump off was when you're thinking about your goals and the things that you want to look, see, there's the dog. Now he just jumped off again. <laughs> he was right behind me. <laughs> when you're thinking about your goals and the things that you want to accomplish, whether it's in your personal life or your professional life, like I said, super, super important to be honest with yourself. But these have got to be goals, you guys, that you 
want to accomplish. You yes. can't do it for anybody else. Ashley yes. and I, I, you know, we talked about it before. You had a goal to lose weight. You wanted to be healthier and stay alive. And, you know, that was my similar goal. Because um, alive is good. Yes. Um, <laughs> but she did it for her kids. I did it for my kids. But more than that, we did it for ourselves. Yeah. Because for me... I wanted to dance at my kid's wedding. I wanted to have fun with my grandkids. It was about me. I wanted to live longer. I wanted to be healthier. For me, it's not too much about quantity as quality. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, I wanted to live while I'm still alive. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You, You know, everybody knows those people that die before they actually die. You know what I mean? Just, they don't really do anything, kind of sit in a chair. I don't want to be that person. So make sure that your goal is about you. Mm -hmm. You can't do it for anybody else. I mean, maybe you can, but I think it's like less fun. (laughs) It's just, if it matters to you. It's going to be really, really, really hard. I'm going to tell you that right now. It's yeah, kind of really- if it if it matters to you, if it's a priority to you, you will always make time for what you want to do. If it's something that you don't care about or that you can just push off to another day, you're always going to keep pushing it off. You're never going to get it done. It has to matter to you. Your why has to be your why. Right. Right. <laughs> right. You can't do it for your husband. You can't do it for your wife. You can't do it for your mom. You can't do it for your dad. It has to be about you. I mean, so yeah, again, maybe you can, but. It, right. And it doesn't. But is that going to push you through the days where you don't feel like it? Because if we all ran on feelings, we would never get anything done. I never feel like doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, my, my God. To sit on my butt. <laughs> right. <laughs> Easy peasy. Make a plan for that one. Plan was easy too. (laughs) No, seriously, like just make it about yourself, you know, Uh, or, or, or or make it about your family. You know, there's lots of goals that you're going to have that are going to involve your family too. I know you and Jordan have goals together. Rod and I have goals together. You know, we have goals that are for ourselves and our family. But yeah. I'm talking about your individual goals. You know, they have to be important to you. Yeah. If they're your family goals, they have to be important to both of you, obviously. Yes. I would say make it um, make it about you or make it bigger than you, but never something smaller than you. Yeah. Right? Because, again, if it's, not, <laughs> if it's not about you or bigger than you, then it'll be easy to just push it off to another time, another day on those days when you're not motivated to do it. You got to always just like Nike, just do it. If you're not, you just, you got to keep the goal. Yeah. We got to call Nike now because we need like, we just mentioned them live on air. Oh yeah. Now we're going (laughs) to, we're going to get sued or paid. Let's see what happens. I know, right? (laughs) one or the other i mean if you want to sue oh. us knock yourself out because you know nothing from nothing is still nothing jesus <laughs> <laughs> ah i haven't so that this was so my goal setting plan this is how i set my goals and it, it's okay to set those big goals and then break them down into smaller little goals to yes. give yourself a win. reduce it to the ridiculous that's easy peasy to remember everything is reduced to the ridiculous mm. reduce it down to something so small that it's easily achievable i love it yep and celebrate all those small wins oh hell yeah yeah <laughs> absolutely i mean i can't tell you how many times i've danced at my desk because i you know whatever when i figured right. out quickbooks when i figured out how to enter my customers in a quickbooks you don't even want to know the dance party that was up in here, okay? <laughs> when I figured out how to get our website up, oh my God, I almost cried. <laughs> <laughs> so celebrate your wins, you know, celebrate your wins. And what do you say? Never stop, just pivot. Yep, never quit, just pivot. 
There you go. There you go. <laughs> this was so good. Thank you, Tammy, for pouring <laughs> into us with all the goals. I'm going to make more copies of my goal setting roadmap, which you can download at makeshiftmotivation.com. And I already know my goal. Uh, this might not make sense to you, but if I, anyone in, in my company ever happens to come across this, my goal is to go diamond in December. So I'm definitely gonna hit this up like right now, as soon as we get off, I'm, I'll probably take a picture of it and post it and whatever. If you all, ooh, that's a good one. If you all download these and are willing to share your journaling, your affirmations, your goals with us, we would love to see them and cheer you on. That would be a lot of fun. Well, you know what? Hold on, Ash, can you keep the family busy for a moment. Can I keep them entertained? <laughs> I think I can. Hey, hey. So yeah, what are your goals? If we can type them in the chat, whoever's here, drop your goals in the chat. Let's do it. Let's get this interactive. Is real life. <laughs> the circus just went down. <laughs> oh my Lord. Everybody's like, what in the hell is she doing? Does she not know she's live? <laughs> I know. I just don't care. Uh, no. This is real life, y'all. I am actually even more silly than this in real life. So just, you know. Yes, she is. <laughs> so, Ash, we have these. <gasps> Beautiful stickers. <laughs> these, you all. Makeshift oh, motivation just... holographic affirmation stickers dude yes what? they have a friggin affirmation on them and everything it says i offered my best self today i offered my best self today that is the best you can do i love it this is a fabulous sticker and it's holographic i it's love beautiful i don't know how do y'all feel about like sparkly things i love things that sparkle and shine and you know like the oh, pop that just that just gets me so happy when I get stuff like that. Just, yes. So here's what Shiny. I need. The first five people to post <sighs> on our Facebook page. Oh my God. Go to Big Shift Motivation on Facebook and post a picture of your goal setting roadmap or your affirmations or your journal page. And I will send you your very own affirmation makeshift motivation holographic really cool sticker you guys i don't even have a sticker yet like she doesn't she doesn't because that's amazing look, i just took it out of the envelope that's going to her with the stickers in it so. <laughs> she's holding out on so, me you're gonna get ashley's stickers so yeah right <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, I guess. I'll okay. share my stickers. So go to Makeshift Motivation <laughs> on Facebook, okay? And, well, first thing you're going to do is go to MakeshiftMotivation.com. Yeah. You know, download, download your journal page. Download your goal-setting roadmap. Yes. Or download or put your email in there so you get your weekly affirmations. Then yes. you're going to go to the Makeshift Motivation page on Facebook, which is where you're all listening to us live or watching us live, rather. Yes. First five people to post a picture of their roadmap, their affirmations, or their journal page are going to get their very own affirmation Makeshift Motivation stickers. Yay! So get that done, y'all. I love that. I feel like... Um... If you are uh, in the mood and feeling us, I feel like if you purchase a makeshift motivation swag shirt, you'll probably also get a free sticker <laughs> or something like that. I I'm just saying. That. I'm just I saying. That. That's another one. Yeah. Okay. So I love those shirts. They're so cute. I'm like All obsessed right. with every time I see them. I'm like, oh, they're beautiful. <laughs> okay, y'all hard work but so, i love doing it i can't <laughs> here's the thing if you purchase a makeshift motivation t-shirt a boom baby t-shirt a this is real life t-shirt you will also get your makeshift motivation affirmation sticker for free yay 
to download and post a picture of, and y'all, you don't have to, if you want to just post a picture of a blank one so we know you got it, you can do that too. You don't have to post a picture of your goals or your journal page. No, I want to know your life. You don't have to to post that on Facebook. That's okay. That's for your private. If we know, if we know that you downloaded it and you really want to take it seriously, that's all we need to know is that you got it. We want to know you're on our page. We want to know that you're listening to us, that you appreciate the work that we put into yes. these things for you because we do it out of love and we want to help as much as we can. Yes, we want to know we're impacting someone out there. It's beautiful. It makes us emotional. I love it. <laughs> don't make yeah. me cry. Oh, my God. Don't get me started. I know. <laughs> we, uh, we just went there. My bad. Same. Okay. First five posts on our Facebook page or purchase a T-shirt. You're going to get your makeshift motivation holographic sticker for free. You're going to get it before I get it. What the? Mm. Mm. I'm just saying. Mm. You lucky different. people. <laughs> I got all the goods. Well, that's not even true because I actually got the T-shirts. Because I make the shirts, y'all. Made with love by Ashley V. For real, though. I Yeah. I love doing it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love knowing like Jessica. I love it when she texts me, uh, you know, everything she's doing. And so you guys, we can, we can be that level of friends off this podcast. That's cool with me. We love to impact you all in a positive way, hopefully. And I feel like we're just pretty silly people. We're very friendly people. And we're people who want to help people who want to be there for you to see you do yeah. great things. So yeah, free so stickers. It, yeah, so if our little roadmap helps, or our journal page helps, or the daily affirmations help. That's awesome. Go get it. Yeah, yeah, for free. yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to charge you for it. I so, know. Makeshiftmotivation.com, and then come back to the Makeshift Motivation Facebook page get your free sticker yeah okay. this was very awesome thank you so much for all of the teaching of the goals and this is actually really good when you broke down when you break it down the way you broke it down it all kind of made sense to me i was like oh okay that's why nothing's happening because i'm trying to jump that big huge thing instead of step by step goal break by goal win by life. win reduced to the ridiculous mm. me and zig ziglar I know. <laughs> Lord, I wish he was still alive. I'd love to go see him in person. Oh, amazing. Amazing. Anybody else Zig Ziglar fans out there? There's got to be like a whole ton of us. <laughs> it's like a yeah. cult following. We all love Zig. <laughs> all right, everybody. That's our show for today. For real this yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, for real this time. We thank you for tuning in. Thank you for uh, interacting with us. Thank you for the support and um, yeah, head over to that website, get those pages, get your, get your free stuff. I mean, why wouldn't you, you know, it's, it's free. (laughs) (laughs) This free is for me. All right, let's get out of here. We're done. done. Thanks again, guys, everybody have a great week and uh, we'll see you next time. Yay.